So here is the question limit x tends to 0, tan x by x, power of 1 by x square. So for this solution, let y is equal to tan x by x, 1 by x square, okay? So after this, put log on both sides. Then we get log y is equal to log tan x by x, 1 by x square. So it becomes 1 by x square. This is power is taken here. So 1 by x square log tan x by x okay so log tan x by x means so this can be written as log tan x minus log x by x square okay is log a by b is log a minus log b okay so here we have log y is equal to so taking limit x x tends to zero on both sides so we take limit x tends to zero as here we have limit x tends to zero okay so on both sides means in here okay so it becomes limit x tends to zero log y is equal to limit x tends to 0 log tan x minus log x by x square so leave as it is so now here we perform so here we perform derivative okay so the derivative of log tan x is sec square x by tan x minus the derivative of log x is 1 by x by x square so d log tan x is d by d tan x into d tan x by dx so it becomes the derivative of d log tan x is 1 by tan x and the derivative of tan x is sec square x so it becomes sec square x by tan x and the derivative of 1 so it becomes like so multiply each side so here this can be written as is equal to limit x tends to 0 so here x sec square x minus tan x by sorry here is the derivative of this x square is 2x okay so here we have x square so the below part goes here okay so that becomes 2x square tan x okay by b by c so this can be this means a by b by c by 1 so if it is go to the upper part it becomes a by b into 1 by c okay so like here it becomes we obtain like this so again limit x tends to 0 we perform the derivation for this so here we have two variable term that is x sec square x so the x sec square x so we perform multiplication theorem or multiplication derivation for this so that means x d sec square x by dx plus sec square x dx by dx so the derivation of this is x 2 sec x sec x tan x plus sec square x as you know the derivation of d sec square x is by d sec x into d sec x by dx so this means we have the power 2 so here is 2 and here is d sec sec is the power minus 1 that is power minus 1 here is base term okay that is sec x so that becomes 2 sec 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 means 1 so that is sec x into the derivation of sec x is sec x tan x so it becomes 2 sec square x so here is x 2 sec square x tan x plus sec square x so we can write this as 2x sec square x tan x plus sec square x and the derivation of tan x is sec square x that is sec square x okay and here we have x square tan x so here we have 2x square tan x 2x square tan x okay so for this 2 is the constant term so uh, 2 is the constant term so 2 so here we have x square d tan x by dx plus tan x dx square by dx so we can write this as 2 x square tan x the derivation of tan x is sec square x plus tan x the derivation of x square is 2x so it becomes 2x square is sec square x plus 2 to 4 4 x tan x okay so we can write like this so here we can write this term 2x square sec square x 2x square sec square x plus 4 x tan x so here we have sec square x this and this cancel out so here remains limit x tends to 0 so here we have 2x sec square x tan x so here we have in the below part where we have 2 and here we can take 2 as common and we can take x is also common so here if we take 2x as common this and below 2x cancel out that is and here remains x sec square x plus 2 tan x okay so this and this cancel out and here remains limit x tends to 0 sec square x tan x by x sec square x plus 2 tan x okay it is in the form of 0 by 0 form okay so here it is also in the form of 0 by 0 form limit x tends to 0 so here we have sec square x tan x so we have here sec square x tan x so for this we can perform this here yes so we have sec, sec square x tan x okay so by dx so this can be sec square x d tan x by dx by tan x d sec square x by dx so this becomes sec square x the derivation of this tan x is sec square x plus tan x and the derivation of sec square x is derivation of sec square x is 2 sec x 
and here is six x, ten x. Okay, so that is so it means is equal to six power of four x plus ten. Here we have ten, here ten, and here two two. That is two six square x, ten square x. So we can write this. This okay, six power of four x plus two six square x, ten square x. Divide by x six square x plus Two ten x. So for this third derivation, we are we are already we have got the third derivation of x x square x x square x. We have got two x x square x ten x plus x square x. Okay. So we can write two x x square x ten x plus x square x plus. And the derivation of ten x is x square x. So we can write two. Here we have two constant. So two x square x. Okay. So okay. Now. If we put x tends to zero or x is equal to zero, we don't get zero by zero form. That is sec zero, then it is one, and if ten zero, it is zero. Okay? If we put the value of sec zero, so here we put sec. So sorry, if we put the value here, it becomes one, and here if we put the value here two, it becomes two dot zero dot. Sorry, here two dot one dot zero. By right? and here we have two x means zero and six zero. That is six zero means one and the power of one is one one and here ten zero plus here one one plus and here it is two dot one. That means we obtain one by three. That is here one and it is can zero. It is one plus one. two is equal to three. So here we have this limit x tends to zero. Limit x tends to zero log y is equal to one by three. Okay, we can write this as log. Limit x tends to zero y e power of one by three. So that means it can be written as limit x tends to zero y is equal to e power of one by three. And that is here we have y is equal to ten x by suppose. So limit x tends to zero ten x by x one by x square is equal to e power of one by three. This is the required answer.